I was traveling with um, my driver some years back. We were we were we were um, we were driving from um, Florida to Alabama, and as we were leaving Birmingham, Alabama, on our way uh, to, we were going to um, we were we were on our way from Birmingham, Alabama, to uh, Tennessee. So we we parked somewhere to have lunch. And he told me a story that is just amazing. You are going to laugh. <laughs> you are going to laugh. <laughs> you are going to laugh. You are going to feel it like this. Well, this white man, this white guy, he he loved clubbing. He loves going to club. So on this wonderful day, he went to the club on a Friday night. And um, while the, there was a lot of drinking and there was drug going on, heavy smoking, some, you can, he said the place was so dark with just some dim lights, some tiny little light coming down the ceiling like you are in New York, New York casino in Las Vegas strip. And so, um, so there came this lady, a round face, well shaped, and uh, the lady said, "Oh, will you mind? You are such a handsome man. Will you mind after the, after the, uh, after the club? Uh, I'll take you home. We can have a good time. We'll, we'll drug some more because he used to do drugs." This guy used to do drugs. So um, so he said, oh yeah, he was very happy. He's going to have free drugs. He's going to have free sex and so on. And this woman, he says that this lady's breast was really full. It was a big breast. And he said he, he loved big breasts. So there he goes. The hair was well done. The nails, everything looked so cute. So they left and um, there's going to be a lot of drugging, drinking, and a lot of hot sex gonna happen that night. So he was very happy. This is the first time of meeting this lady and this lady is inviting him to the, to the house. And so they went home. The, the lady drove, drove him all the way out of the city into the countryside. Oh, he was very happy. He loved the countryside and drove him to a very lonely, this house just stands by itself. A lot of houses are far away and he could see the highway right, right there. There's like he could see some marshes, some bushes. So they came into this beautiful home. There was nobody that was dead, quiet, silent. No dog, no cat, nothing. And they step in, the, the light came on. It was like a sensor kind of light. So this lady smells good with some good perfume, a female perfume. So the lady went and poured him a glass of Jack Daniel, JD, and poured herself made herself a glass. So they sat down talking and trying to socialize and know each other. Um, <laughs> after a while, they've been drinking, the feeling came or whatever, something came between them. The chemistry busted, the biology was formed right there. So the lady asked him to take off to, to, to strip himself, to take off his clothes. So he started doing, uh, he started, um, he started 
doing that while the lady went back to her own room and show him where the bedroom was. So the guy took off and then went to the bedroom with his, with his uh, drink. So when he went in, he, um, he, he sat down by the chair in, on the bed. Then the lady came in and turned the main light off. There was a tiny little purple light that was coming out and a tiny little red light was coming out from the ceiling. So they got into bed and the movie was about to begin. And so next thing he knew, the lady took off uh, her hair. He thought that that was her real hair, but first thing she took off her hair. He was shocked to notice that he was completely, she was completely bald. There was not one tiny hair that the rat or the mice of the years left, left her. Her head was as her head, her head was as clean as I mean polished. It was shining. I mean, he said in that he can see through like a mirror. The, the head was shining. He could see his face. <laughs> that was the first shock. Then then the lady, then the lady. Then the lady said, she, she's the one who's going to be on top. He's like, really? Huh? Okay. She was still with her makeup. And then he began to look at her boots. He realized they look funny. They say, where they look? They look funny. Well, he didn't say anything. He was afraid to touch. <laughs> 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 so, so the, the lady is like, you, so you don't want to touch me? You don't want to play with me? He said, he said, well, yeah, okay. Oh, he went back for his drink. He's trying to drink more alcohol so as not to believe what he was seeing. So not to believe or not to agree with what he's thinking because something in him went off that something ain't quite right. And then, and then he looked at the club and even when they were entering the house, the woman's butt was round. And now he looked at he looked at her butt. Her butt was little and flat. He was like, hmm, something is wrong. You know, the butt wasn't round and juicy like it was supposed to be when he saw the club. So the, the so the lady uh, patched her butt. I don't know. I think I heard that people can wear a butt, something. I don't know what they call it. What do they call that? Yeah, so she wore a fake buttocks. She wore a fake, fake, fake butt, you know. Now that was gone. Then the woman wanted to come on top of him and so began to play with him. Then the next thing he knew, <laughs> she was taking off her, her panty. And then in that darkness, the man felt something cold on his on his thighs something cold this woman was trying to turn him over so that he lays on his belly oh my word what is about to happen then he felt something he felt a very old big dick oh a very old big dick so he's like, he's like, okay, or all, all right. So he said, e excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Let me go and use the bathroom first. So he left. He still carried his wine, behaved like he's drinking. And the, and the woman is laying now. He knew this is not a woman. This is a man. This is a full man in his 60s. He could see the gray, he could see the gray hair on his armpit, the gray on his pubic, Jesus Christ. So this guy went, 
behave like he's going into the bathroom, slam it hard so that so that he, she, or whatever, now will be thinking that he is um, in the bath in the bathroom. So he now turned the tap on, and the tap was running so that she, he, or whatever, or she now knows that he's using the bathroom he now ran into the into the into the living room grab make sure that his his bill folder was in his pocket his shoe he couldn't tie his shoe so he left his he left his shoe right there he just took his stuff he took his underwear he took everything except the shoe and the socks he left it there and he ran out as fast as he could he opened the door and he ran out now the, 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 the man knew that he's running. The man now went running out of him and said, you come back here, come back here. You are going to spoil the night. There is no way out where you're the man. This guy ran into the bush, ran into a marshy, muddy little water. He went across and there is the highway at the other side. He ran and ran and ran past things were hitting him. You know, on his leg, he kept running, crossed the main road, and stood there and waited for 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 uh, a car to pass by. He waved at the car. You know, somebody who is driving, and you see a guy who is naked on the street. I mean, you'll have to stop. He's he's standing there. He's crying for help, help, help. He's trying to put on his stuff at the same time. He's trying to put on his stuff. He's trying to wave. So he can't stop by. And the man said, what's wrong? What's wrong? What happened? Somebody want to kill you? He said, if I tell you what I saw tonight, you won't believe me. If I tell you what I saw, you would not <laughs> So the man said, so where do you want to go? He said, please, can you take me back to downtown? I'll be able to get a taxi from there and go home. The man said, okay, I'm going to give you a ride to wherever you're going to. So what happened? He said, I can't believe this. And so he started to tell the man the story. And my goodness, he was so frightened. And the way he ran, he said, by the time he reached him, when he undressed, there were things that had scratched him. There were some things that had scratched him as he was running through the bush. I mean, so he never went back to club. He stopped going to club from that day. Drug ran away from him. He never did drug anymore. <laughs> He left drugs, he left clubs, he didn't pick prostitutes no more, you know, he stopped. That was, that was how he changed, was what he saw in that house, you know. And the thing that was really funny that I didn't tell all of you was this. He realized that when the man came in, the man left something on the ground of the bed, on the floor of the, of the, of the, on the floor of the bedroom. And so he stepped on it when he was going to the bathroom and he realized that it was, um, what do we call that thing? A cracker kind of whip, whipping. So he's somebody who, when he has sex, he will whip you with um, with that, um, what do they call it? I don't know the name for those things. He will whip you with that whip and draw blood while he has sex with you. That's what motivates him. And when he was running into the bush, he could see the man whipping that cracker, crack, crack. You know, come back here, you know? And the guy was just running for his life. Yeah, he ran for his life. Yeah. <laughs> so, so those of you who want to go to club and pick people or people pick you, you beware because what you are going to see, you are not yet prepared for it. All right, that's a comedy show for tonight. Okay, please stay, stay right there, those of you on the line. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm. Very, very, yep. Yep.